Discovering God Through Nature and Art with Matushka Elisa. The prophet Isaiah says, Come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. Although your sins are like crimson, I shall make them white like snow. Today we'll learn about where all that white snow comes from, ice crystals that form snowflakes. Typically, what we see falling from the sky and call snowflakes are actually hundreds of microscopic ice crystals clumped together. Individual ice crystals usually have six sides. And have you heard that no two snowflakes are exactly alike? Well, how does this happen? It all begins with water molecules, so tiny we cannot see them. We call them H2O. Two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom make up one water molecule. While in gas form, known as water vapor, these molecules are floating very far apart, so small it's invisible. When water is in liquid form, the molecules are closer together, but still not connected. When the temperature outside is cold enough and water vapor finds a dust particle floating in the air, it clings to it, and now the molecules get organized. They form a hexagon with six sides we have the beginning of an ice crystal. Who knew that dust, something we consider dirty, is really the secret ingredient to beautiful, clean snow? Christ shows us this in his own life. A manger used to feed animals held the savior of the world. Christ chose his beloved disciples from fishermen and tax collectors, not jobs people considered very fancy at the time. And didn't Christ choose to ride on a donkey into Jerusalem? Not the most glamorous of creatures. Can you think of a time in your life when something was not what you preferred, but turned out to be wonderful after all? As the little hexagon shape now goes on a journey from the sky to the earth, it will experience tiny changes in the atmosphere. As the temperature immediately around it rises and falls, as the moisture around it increases and decreases, more vapor will crystallize onto the hexagon on all six sides, making little branches like a tree. Another ice crystal nearby will experience a different set of atmospheric changes, and that's why ice crystals don't look exactly alike. Does this apply to people, too? Someone else's life journey can affect how they look or act. God asks us to love one another. Can we appreciate our beautiful differences? Let's draw some ice crystals, which we can also call snowflakes. I'm going to draw a typical X. Notice how all four spaces here are about equal distance apart. Now I'll draw a tall X. This is the one we want. Draw a tall X and then a line straight through the middle. Now we have a six-pointed star with about equal distance on all sides. This six-pointed star can make a hexagon. Now let's add a little mountain in every open space. Rotate your paper and connect all the mountains. There's another star. On each branch of this snowflake, I'll draw a little V and a big V. There, a beautiful little snowflake. Now using those mountains and Vs, I can make slight changes or variations to make a new snowflake. Start with a new six-pointed star. How about some smaller mountains this time? And some larger ones. Let's see, I want a big V and three little V's. This snowflake can be even more detailed. How about more branches? And more V's. I want to add something new, diamonds. You can use mountains, V's, and diamonds to make so many different patterns. 
My daughters experimented with all the options. I also tried a hexagon in the center. And we tried using light colored crayons on black paper. Thank you for joining me to discover ice crystals. Next time you're in snowy or icy weather, I hope you enjoy knowing all the detail God has put into his natural creation.